this is the Dice Fair 13, and welcome back to another episode of World of Tanks. Now, I'm here in my KV2, and, well, it's not exactly the best matchmaking for this, but every matchmaking is good matchmaking for the KV2. Except for, you know, the map, because you get Sand River in this thing. <laughs> oh, have fun. But, uh, it's kind of simple to know where to go, especially on this map, because... If you're fast, light, maneuverable, but can't take it, you go to field. If you're slow, heavy, and take a beating, you go to the town. If you go somewhere in between, you head to the zero line. Because hopefully, by then, you have long range. So It's all about where you go on this map that makes the difference. I've seen games where everyone just rushes through the town and then gets overwhelmed and caught in the town because the enemy team had people that ran through the field and from there they get completely crushed. So this is my favorite spot. You get quite a long range and it's hard for people to snipe at you. Pretty artillery safe. And you can side scrape quite well. But I've noticed a pattern. At least in this game. There's no enemy team. Well, there's one enemy tank in the town. I don't know if there's any others, but I'd rather not just sit over here and twiddle my thumbs waiting for someone to come through that direction. Which, until the last minutes of the game, nobody does. And there's an enemy KV-2, and I'm not about to just start rushing out there. And I don't know where that shot went. My guess is it went into this supporting pillar of that building or something, but it didn't hit the tank like I thought it was going to, so. Which is a bit of a shame, but sometimes you can't get everything your way. And that KV-2 is probably waiting on his reload and I'm waiting for him to pop around the corner and I, I think actually yeah the more and more I think about it I did shoot that pillow so I'm waiting nobody's I, if I was still over where I was when I first went over there I'd still sit, be sitting there and doing absolutely nothing but instead I'm sitting here waiting for an enemy tank to come that KV-2 to pop out and nobody really seems to want to move forward. It's almost as though they don't trust their team. And I I think I hit the pillow again. I don't know. But I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of this. He's got allies of mine coming up behind him. And I will reload before he does. And he's on a lot lower health than I am. So just sit there and accept your fate. <laughs> And still, no one's gone down that one road. I'm. It was tempting to just sit there because it's a comfortable position for me. I can just. I know I can just go to that spot, and there's normally a tank at the end of it. Just sitting there. Whether it's side scraping or. poorly poking out the front or on around the corner. It, Someone is normally always there. But in this game, no one was. And because I decided to move, which, don't get me wrong, I'm still getting used to every once in a while. It's one of those things where if I had stayed comfortable, I probably wouldn't have had a game at all. I probably would have been playing catch up, trying to get to where everyone else is, trying to at least do some damage in a KV-2. And, like, I mean, that panther looked down this way, probably got shot at by artillery, spotted, whatever, and decided it wasn't worth it looking down that path. Just wasn't worth it. Now, I'm heading this way because, well, SU-100Y tends to not have a lot of armor, and now he's dead, and there's an SU-100 somewhere back there. But I don't know what it is. So, a bit of a waiting game. 
many of you have noticed, well, that while I was playing this game, I had it. And there I go, I just realized where that SU-100 went. And I do feel a little bit inadequate in this situation, because if I had gone down that one pathway, I would have been able to get the kill on that SU-100 Y most likely. Get a good shot out of KB, the other enemy KB-2. And I wouldn't have to deal with this. Yes, artillery is hitting this direction. And I nail that KV-1 right in the front. I don't kill him. But I allow him to make a very, very big mistake that you never make against a KV-2. You don't just let him reload. You just don't. And there's artillery. There goes KV-2. Well, KV-1. And I spend the rest of this game trying to hunt down artillery when they're nowhere near me. So, this has been the Dice Sphere 13. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share. It really does help out the channel. If you want to keep up to date with my uploads, please subscribe. If you want to show up to any of my live streams, Twitch is down in the description. If you have a replay of your own, down in the description is an email. Send a link from what replays of your replay. It really does help to have that screen to show your guys' game off. But this has been the Death Sphere 13. Signing off. Bye.